Hi, Hutami. My name is Daphne. Thank you for sending in your essay for correction. Really good to hear from you. Thank you for telling me your story. You scored six. Uh, you need to get your um, band up half a point. Uh, and you're going for the exam in February. Okay, fantastic. Uh, thank you for all that. That's really helpful. So here's your essay. Many companies use advertisements to increase their sales. What are the main factors that makes an advertisement effective? So this is an important word here. And so there's kind of two questions here. One, what makes it effective? And two, is it a good or a bad thing? Uh, so this it always takes a little bit of time just to you know, understand the question, doesn't it? In order to reach high sales, now you don't need a high sales. So just because it's plural. In order to reach high sales, the enterprise, I think maybe enterprises, maybe com or companies, always use an advertisement to attract the consumer to buy their product. Okay. Um, either the enterprise, no, I, no, I think you better would be just to say companies, most companies, I'm going to put the corrections in here, most companies, uh, most companies always use an advertisement to attract the consumer to buy their product. Good. A company. Now, where is your, let's get this essay organized. Now, okay, I'll tell you what the problem is here, looking through this. Um, where's your introduction? So you need a great introduction here. Okay, let's split this up, this. Okay. In order to reach high sales, most companies, it's difficult to always use, but most companies use an advertisement to attract the consumer to buy their product. Okay. Uh, a company uh, and, let's connect this together, and they, so you don't need to repeat company, you could have they, must have a good and well organized marketing strategy to increase product sales. Okay. Um, you need to start connecting this back to the question. So, good and effective, that's fine. Um, I believe, so we want your opinion in this essay, that this development, so I'm not going to use the word, uh, is it a good or bad thing, this development is uh, usually beneficial as um, campaigns can inform as well as sell. So we can learn about things. It's not just about selling, is it? Okay. Then this essay will discuss the key issues using examples from, and you're going to need to put some examples in here, examples from X and Y. Okay, so in your introduction, you must have an opening statement which shows you understand this. So that's what we've tried to do. Then you need to have your opinion because this is basically an opinion essay. And then introduce the essay. Okay, that's your intro. Then you need to start with your main paragraphs. You want two body paragraphs. Okay. One and for instance, and you haven't got a conclusion. Okay, so oh, you've got a little bit of a conclusion there. Okay, good, that's fine. So two big paragraphs and then your conclusion. So we do a lot of uh, online courses here, which are very successful in helping people with their exams. And uh, when we have uh, this sort of kind of issue, so you've got some good ideas, but they're not very well organized. This is to do with coherence and cohesion. This is a lot of marks. And you need to write a direct and cohesion, cohesive and clear paragraph. So we talk about this a lot on the course. We have a module, one little video, and practice specially organizing your essay. So in marketing strategies, the factors needed to achieve an effective commercial, commercial, good. Maybe you could put divide into several steps. Firstly, the marketing team do some research. I would just take out that. I just say research the. Now, you just research that so you don't need about. So research the market of the product, uh, comma, 
After that, they arrange the advertising plan, including the financial budget. The marketing team must decide the advertisement platform, such as social media. Good, nice. Uh, maybe connect this together and this marketing team must decide. Good. The important part for an effective. Now you need to show me you know the word effective because they've used the word effective in their question. So you need to use another word. Don't use the same words as they, them. Okay. Uh, the important part for a successful and profitable because they want to make money, don't they? Advertisement is to make sure the message. Uh, just spelling that message. Let me just correct that for you. Message of the product description should be clear with a short explanation to inform the customer. Spelling about um the product um customer about the product and why it would be worthy to purchase good okay or you could have about the value and use or value use and appeal so the good bits of the product um, <coughs> For me, this is just a little bit clearer. Uh, the danger is that you're repeating a little bit here. Um, but so what I quite like doing, which we work on in the course, is just adding adjectives here to uh, just develop your argument, but in quite a succinct, quite a clear way. Furthermore, if the product is in video form and aired on television, not in, on television uh, network, networks, most important part is to have the right duration and good and a catchy scene. Memorable, why don't we go? And catchy scene to inform, uh, to inform, not to inform the product, to inform the public. You have to inform the public. Okay, good. Very nice. So you've explained very carefully what goes into an effective advert. Okay, what are the main factors? You've also told me a lot about um, what goes into it. You you might not necessarily need, um, firstly, the marketing team, blah, 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 blah. You don't necessarily need that. Uh, really, truly, um, this is the most important part of what you've said here. This connects most to the um, question and then if you're, I was writing this essay so I would go from here so I'd have all this and then I would say for example a recent uh, campaign by Apple yeah showed or proved or led to uh, led to a 45% increase in sales of uh, the latest phone, blah, 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 blah. So it was a very successful campaign. Okay, so it's very important to have an example in there. And then you have, therefore, yeah, the campaign was amazing, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, now I wouldn't put, for instance, here. Because this is, uh, yeah, this is your example, okay. But then you need to have to break this into paragraphs more. So the, the main problem, I think, is the organisation. I can see why you got on 5.5 because you've got some lovely ideas and this has got some good writing here. But there's no organisation, there's no structure in the essay. So it's really, really important um, in these academic essays they're very hard academic essays but you need we kind of need to break it up and organize it so the highest sales of smartphone in the world is Samsung usually they put an advert on every platform uh, social media to yeah and and um, and not until and the billboard in the street the reason why the adverts advertise so much is because because Samsung has many, rather than a lot of, I go many competitors. So in order to win the market share, 
they should have an aggressive commercial to make the public always remember their brand. Uh, yes, so that's fine. Um, but I would use this example about Apple. Then I would put here. Furthermore, You have to have two paragraphs here. So the structure of the essay is really important. So furthermore, um, the highest sales of smartphone in the world uh, is uh, by is by Samsung, who. usually put an advertisement in every platform social media uh, yeah yeah the reason why they advertise so much is because samsung has a lot of competitors okay yep we said that in order to win market share they should have an aggressive commercial to make the public to make infinitive here the public always remember their brand okay so you could reword that slightly and you could say for instance the higher sales is by samsung who advertise frequently and aggressively um, and their advertisements are usually successful because um, of their advertising campaign. Uh, just slightly change that round a bit, um, but that needs to be your second paragraph. Okay. Um, and then this would need to be your conclusion, which is quite long. So, to, you um, hopefully this is really helping you and just showing you the um, and just how we need to write these essays so the course has a, a 12 sentence guide literally we take 12 sentences and these 12 sentences just do magic working your essay into absolutely a perfect order um, it's really really worth having a look at I think you would benefit enormously from this I know your exam is soon. If you work really hard, you can get through it in two weeks. Personally, I think advertisements have more advantages than disadvantages for society as the aim or because the aim of the commercial is to give, infinitive there, the customer, spelling, information about the product that they need and to make comparison about which product is the best. Good. Um, so to sum up, this needs to go together. So your opinion comes in the end. If the company wants to make their product become the top brand and achieve the sales, um, comma, because you've got a conditional sentence, which is fantastic, they should make a greater effort or great effort. And let's choose another word from effective, exciting, and appealing advertisement based on a specific market so exciting and appealing two nice adjectives there okay so good effort good effort on there and um, there are a few areas which, which need work on um so have a look at the course because these you know the little uh this uh little videos um almost 20 trying to remember 20 little videos that you watch and then lots and lots of essay practice so there's essay corrections like this you have uh, eight in total so summarize the information you're doing academic IELTS okay the chart illustrates the number of now you've paraphrased there which is great um, the number of uh, yeah, we don't have that word so I'm hesitating. The number of babies born and the mortality in five different countries of Eastern Europe. Um, okay, spelling Eastern E R N Europe and unit. Just connect this together, and units are measured in thousands. Overall, the mortality rate in Hungary was the highest. Good compared with Croatia, Poland, Czech Republic, and the lowest rate was Slovakia. On the other hand, the highest number for natal natality, okay, you're going to have to say births, because we don't really have the right word, was the Czech Republic, followed by, so followed by, 
Okay, and then the least good. So very nice on the highest and the least. Well done. Good work there. In terms of the birth rate, um, the Czech Republics, you have to put an apostrophe S there. Birth rate was, you can't have more higher. You could have was higher than Croatia and Hungary. Uh, yep. No full stop. Keep going. While, nice, the birth rate Croatia uh, was, I need some verbs here, or was registered at, yeah, good, nice. In contrast, so you're in contrast to, uh, in contrast to the Czech Republic, comma, the death rate for Hungary was past the highest at 13,000. Connect it together while, keep going, in the Czech Republic. Prepositions, need to think about prepositions um, if you're not totally happy with that. Uh, the death rate and articles. Uh, was verbs whoa only okay good right okay remember every sentence has to have a verb that's super important obviously and check out these little uh, my corrections on your prepositions however um, I, I don't think you need however um, in these task ones just keep it factual okay Poland and Slovakia so in Poland and Slovakia, the number for both birth and death were lower, not more lower, just lower than three other countries. Okay, uh, the birth rate for Poland was slightly different, just slightly different, with Slovakia at around Slovakia. I was going to say at around. Yep. Okay. Good. Similarly. Um, just put similarly, you don't need that in there. The mortality rate Poland was not more higher. Higher. Uh, now, just to remind you, if I have a long adjective like beautiful, okay, I can't have beautifuler because it's too long. So then I have more beautiful. If I have a short adjective like high, I use this ending higher. Okay, just check it out. Remember comparatives if you're not sure. The Slovakia. Uh, hang on, at yes, and how on you've re you've repeated the same country. Maybe you didn't mean to. Okay, but good work on that task one. That's not bad at all, and uh, I really like you've got lots of comparatives in there, which is great. I'm going to send you a link which you might also find helpful. Have a look at that. So uh, well done, good work here. I hope you found the correction helpful. I think you would really benefit from the course if you could have a look at that. I know you don't have much time, but I think that might really, really transform your writing into something amazing. Well done.